What up everyone, it's Kirtan Singh and today you've noticed I have changed my location and that is because today I am talking about a musician and specifically Kashmir or Kashmir as Westerners would say and how he is a music legend. So Kashmir is an American DJ and producer and most people wouldn't know him, the average person at least wouldn't know him but I've been listening to him for a good few years now and I honestly have loved him since I first heard his music and his music as Kashmir, not his music as the Cataracts. I'm pretty sure that his old duo was called. And if you don't recognize that name, it's either because I'm saying the completely wrong name and I haven't double checked it yet, or it's because you recognize them as the people who produced Like a G6. That's right, Kashmir is one of the duos, one of the people in the duo um, who helped produce or who did produce the track Like a G6 by Far East Movement. Now this is a big club song, everyone knows it, everyone sings along to it and everything and I personally also love this song. But since then, Kashmir has broken off from the duo and he's made his own name as Kashmir. And all of his songs have an amazingly well written um, melody and powerful synths that really just elevate his EDM to a whole new level. And he's really transitioned from a style like a G6 to music like Secrets and Magic and honestly all of his songs are songs that people should really listen to. Now his music for the most part isn't really your standard club music. He focuses more on a blend of natural and electronic instruments and creating powerful and well-written melodies. But the thing is about Kashmir is that the way he does it shows such an insight into music that I've always wanted to talk about him and share why he's one of my favorite musicians. And just because he's a DJ, just because he does electronic music, doesn't mean he shouldn't be recognized as being one of the greats of music in general, especially considering the musicians and DJs that we do have for the most part, just really get a keyboard and just go. And that's really what a lot of DJs do, a lot of producers do. They just hit that one note and they put a lot of synths to it, put a big kick in, and you're like, bam, bam, bam. And Kashmir, instead, he adds this whole melody to his tracks. Here's a quick sample. But one of the great things about Kashmir itself isn't the fact that he just has great melodies in his songs, it's the fact that he blends all these um, ethnic instruments um, because he is of Indian descent even though he is American. Um, he blends them so well together and my favorite song of his, Wild Card, which is one of my favorite EDM songs of, in general, overall, um, only has electronic instruments or at least a typical electronic instrument for the drop itself. Everything else is mostly all these ethnic and natural instruments, which is so great. And I love it because it shows that great blend. Not only is it catchy, not only is it a great drop, but the music and the song is just so well written and so well blended together. Now, before I carry on and going more into depth about Kashmir's specific songs, here's something I'm gonna let you know. Kashmir has also ghost produced many popular tracks, so you wouldn't know of him and what he's done, but you would know the tracks he's made. So he's actually produced and he's written the music for Jason Derulo's Talk Dirty, that iconic melody with the saxophone. He did that. You talk dirty to me. You talk dirty to me. Now, the other one he's done that everyone would know, at least everyone that goes to parties and at least has gone to at least one party, I'm sure this song has been played there, is the song Tsunami. And if you don't know what that song is... <laughs> Holy shit. That is a banger. And Kashmir Ghost produced that track. That's right, his name isn't on the label, isn't on the title or whatever. He, said he produced it, he essentially made it himself. It's a song that everyone knows Kashmir actually made. And that iconic drop, everyone chants it, everyone loves it, everyone knows it. But guess what? How does Kashmir do that and play that song when he's at a festival? 
you think he just has it start playing and you know everyone's gonna get into it everyone already does it everyone already knows it and everyone's gonna go with the drop but he goes a step further and these are the small things that really establish him as someone who's um, a better DJ and producer than the rest of them out there and should really be recognized as one of the greats. So what he does in the Perucaville 2019 um, festival performance that he has that is on YouTube and such, what he does differently is really iconic and now check it out. That's right, Cashmere doesn't just go straight into the song, he blends together a live band from Germany into his music and then it builds up to the drop, the drop comes and everyone goes wild for it because it's just an iconic song and Cashmere knows, he understands the music, he wrote the music and he writes it with such an understanding of the notes and the style and all the scales that he uses that he can easily blend together the violins, the trombones, saxophones and whatnot, other instruments are in the band to the actual EDM track itself and it blends together so well that you really just, I'm just astounded by how well he does it and I'm sure you would be too, the average person if they've truly listened to his music and you truly compared it to other EDM songs Sure, it might not be the best songs to always play in a club or anything, but when you just listen to it for the sake of listening to it or just listening to it for the sake of listening to good music, you can clearly see why Kashmir is a music legend. Now before I sum up this video and just finish it off, here are a good few songs that you really should check out by Kashmir, which I think have a really good job of blending that ethnicity and also the natural instruments with that whole EDM genre as a whole. So thanks for watching everyone, I hope you've enjoyed this video, hopefully you've heard a few songs of Kashmir and that you're interested in him and you can go check it out and share it with everyone because I think Kashmir is a musician everyone should really listen to. So other than that, I hope you've liked the video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and leave a comment down below on what your favourite EDM song is and if you have heard of any more of Kashmir's songs, what do you think about them? And until next time, I'll see you guys.